Hello guys and welcome back to yet another video about the GPU. This is the second in the series of dual GPUs that I'm making and this time I will be looking at the GTX 295 which is newer than the last car I tested which was the 9800 GX2. If you missed that video you can check it out on screen now or click the link in the description. Subscribe if you want to see the next video in the series about the GTX 590. Let's start with the exterior of this GPU. It was released a year after the 9800 GX2 in January of 2009 and in my opinion this is the best looking Founders Edition ever. Simple black metal, gone is the stupid the gigantic stickers of the 9800 GX2. What we get is a perforated matte black design and if you have the model that I have with the backplate you get an awesome looking aluminum backplate. How effective this single blower fan is is a different story altogether as keeping the two GT200 cores is no easy task. The 255 nanometer cores run at 576 megahertz and have 480 CUDA cores combined. Despite the GTX 280 having 1 gigs of VRAM, the 295 only has 1792 megabytes. That's 896 megabytes per core, which is an interesting number. Another thing that the 295 does different from the 9800 GX2 is the power plugs. The lovely yellow light up power plugs are gone. How much I'll miss them is probably not a lot, but still, they were nice to have. But how does all of this translate into performance? Let's check it out. I will be testing 4 games this time around, which are Rocket League, CSGO, Tomb Raider 2013 and Fortnite, which I realize is a popular game. So that's why I'm testing it. Hopefully you can just endure it if you don't like it. I haven't really played Tomb Raider a lot, but I still wanted to test it with this GPU. With everything turned on ultra, this card just went way over my expectations. It has way more power than I first thought it had. The average FPS was just over 100 FPS at 104. That's just insane for a card of uh, this age. Let's see how much that power will help in other games though. Tomb Raider was a very impressive result. I had to run Rocket League at medium settings to get some good results. And uh, by good I mean 60 FPS, which is alright if you have a 60Hz monitor, but it's not quite enough for high refresh rate monitors such as 120 to 144 and just well over that. But if you have a 60Hz monitor, I guess it's fine actually. CSGO was another game that I tested and it ran pretty well, this time at medium settings. An average of 177 FPS is high enough for modern monitors running at 144Hz and the game still looks okay. CSGO is a CPU intensive game however, so let's check it out in Fortnite which is more of a GPU intensive game. Yes, I ran Fortnite. My original idea was to test PUBG, but that game requires DirectX 11, which this card doesn't support at all. And with 36 FPS it wasn't a great experience. It's okay if you're playing console I guess, but yeah, this is a computer and I want more than that. And uh, this leads me to the main reason this card is hard to use in 2018. Here are some examples of DirectX 11 games that I wanted to test but just didn't start. The Witcher 3, Skyrim, Dirt Rally, and as mentioned before, PUBG. As you can tell, these are some seriously popular games at the time. And uh, if you want to use this game for some serious gaming, there aren't a lot of modern titles for you to enjoy. But if you're more of a last gen gamer playing the games from 2010 for example, this card is perfect actually. And that leads us to the conclusion for this video. When I first got into desktops in general, building and things like that, the GTX 295 was the beast that I wanted. My uh, family computer was a HP desktop, which actually was pretty powerful, but it had no support for the G GTX 295. So uh, I got it, I'm 20 now, which is a bit older than I was back then, but hey, it's still a beast in some games and it looks awesome. And uh, if there are any other games that you want to see tested, leave a comment down below and I'll put the results in the description of this video. With that said, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and have a good day or whatever it is, where are you watching from? So I don't know, just have a good day, night, whatever and stay tuned for the next video.